Hello again, this is Dr. Vahid Aryadust here. So I'm going to continue uh, the demonstration of this scientometric analysis. I'm doing co uh, document co-citation analysis and I have already created this, uh, this uh, network. If you haven't watched my previous video, please watch. And as I promised, I'm going to uh, run, uh, run this uh, generate a narrative analysis. I think it's really useful because it, it provides you with a lot of useful information about the network that you have created and also the clusters that are included in it. So it will be generated as an HTML file uh, with the most uh, conspicuous, the most, uh, the, the largest, the largest uh, clusters that you have. So the the first and the largest cluster that is worth investigating is cluster zero out of many clusters that have been created then cluster one then cluster two i think there are only th these three clusters so that that was just good enough if you remember from the previous video i already uh i already um saved the information about bursts de uh, centrality the degree and sigma and so on and so forth based on and I can arrange them based on their cluster ID so I am gonna go to data and really just arrange them to see how many clusters altogether we have so go to cluster ID from the smallest to the largest and then arrange them so we've got one uh, cluster one is labeled as zero then number one then two then three four you see they get increasingly smaller, 4, then 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12, 13. These are the numbers of clusters, but these are really very small clusters because this only includes one publication by this author, and the name has not... Uh, yeah, the name is Othir, Revus, Jacqueline, and so on. So, like I said, the, th the three large... The, the th three largest clusters are zero uh, oops I should move this down zero one and two so if you're you're interested to investigate your network I think you you would probably want to start from clusters zero one and two uh, I'm going back to the HTML file copy and then paste everything into a separate sheet here and perhaps go to home and wrap wrap text this will be much easier so this is another way of looking at the clusters cluster 0 has a silhouette index of 0 0.7 in a previous video I went through the silhouette scores 0 0.7 a 0 0.77 are also other uh, the other uh, silhouette uh, the silhouette score for the other two clusters that uh, that are actually among the top three largest clusters so uh, the size of the first one is 66. That's there are 66 papers which have been cited, and then uh, or co-cited. And the size of the second one is 50, and the third one is 70. It's 37, and the mean uh, publication year is 2004, 1999, and 2002, respectively. Uh, and then a lot of other information is provided, uh, like the cit citation counts, the bursts, and the centrality. The reason why it's called a narrative is because if you go go back to the main file, the HTML file, it's the, a narrative, something like a very uh, kind of basic data commentary has been generated automatically for each cluster. This is for cluster zero. So the largest cluster number zero has 66 members and a silhouette value of 0 0.71. Uh, it's labeled this and based based on these algorithms and so on and so forth. I, I'm going to talk about these algorithms for a very short uh, amount of time. Okay, so I think that's how we can generate a uh, narrative. Uh, by the way, if you like, you can actually put this into your reports, a, 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 a sentence like this. And also a sentence like this will probably be useful, but you don't want to put in every label that has been uh, that has been picked by the TFIDF, which stands for uh, Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency. Uh, that's one of the algorithms that is used alongside LLR, which is Log Likelihood Ratio. 
uh, you can actually get to see them here. Uh, for example, the LLR is here, and LLR uh, is perhaps the most precise one, precise uh, algorithm to name, uh, to label the clusters. So it automatically does it for you. you, can, you it has already been chosen. So for LSI, you can o you can also just click on this, and you get the LSI uh, label for each cluster. They're different. For example, uh, for LLR, the cluster number, let's say number one, is to summarize task. It might not make a lot of sense, but for the LSI, it becomes engaging hobby. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense to you, but uh, you, you need to go to the clusters and find out what papers have been cited and what papers um, are citing, so you will get a better understanding of the cluster. Then you can click on these uh, slash signs here, the, which will give you both uh, LSI and LL, uh, LLR labels together. This, for example, for number two, it's uh, pre-kindergartners slash, that's the LSI label, slash predicting second grade, that's the LLR, uh, LLR label. Okay, so uh, that's, that's the other thing that I wanted to actually share with you. That's probably just about enough information that you can you can discuss in your um, paper or in your report finally you can go to the visualization and change the uh, cluster view into a time timeline view now after I, I click on the timeline view you'll see that things can change significantly and might get a little bit messy but we can always uh, change them back ah, yeah you see that's what I meant actually you can always uh, change the quality the uh, shape of your network a little bit to just make it tidy and neat I'm going back to Windows again and get color control panel panel to change a few things here uh, one of the things that I would like to get rid of is the name of the, those authors over there because if so as you remember from the previous video you can go to the phone size and just bring it down to zero so all of those guys to those names will disappear the other thing that I would like to adjust here is the note size because the nodes are pretty small I'm not surprised because the Sigma values in the burstness is pretty small if you remember from the um, previous presentations so what I would like to, to do is the note size is minimum if I move it down a little bit it will react in some ways like this so I think this is the biggest that I can get for this data uh, unfortunately I don't know if I can get it larger than this no it can go smaller but yeah that's the larger that that it can get okay the other thing is that uh, there is a there's a white span between every uh, two each two uh, lines like these are time series so uh, which represent clusters actually what I would like you uh, I, I would like to do is to uh, decrease the span between these and uh, and uh, do some other uh, cosmetic you know operations so so the network will look better uh, something that caught my eyes uh, actually before doing that is uh, this statistics here as you can see I hope you can read this the modularity index the, the modularity Q is 0 0.58 almost 0 0.6 which is really not too bad I, I would say uh, that the precision in clustering is, is pretty acceptable here and the mean silhouette index is about 0 0.7 is 0 0.6 0 0.67 0 0.68 which is about 0 0.7 but well I would say that that homogeneity of clustering is also pretty uh, pretty good uh, so I would like to just really save this immediately so uh, I think because the names are almost the same so I'm going to add one uh, hyphen one so it will not be this one will not be overwritten because that's another view of the network though so everything that you see in yeah in, in this window will be saved so it's not really a very impressive kind of figure as you can see yeah you see I mean some of some this part I didn't expect to get this this part which we couldn't see in the window has been captured whereas the titles have not been captured but I just 
I just did this because I, I want to have this little notation right in this in on this side so you can actually min maximize the form uh, more and more so you can get all the parameters that you have you have been using in your analysis you can see the uh, citation the site spaces 5.6.r4 I think I might have mistakenly uh, said it's uh, r3 but if I have if I have said so, so I corrected this R R three R four actually. Okay, so and this is the rest of the information that you will need. I'm going to close this and go back to the main window here. So how I can change these into uh, something that I can so I can move this around. This cluster is very lo very long. It's from 1950 or something 52 maybe all the way to 2013 that's really interesting uh, well I start there's no standard way of adjusting the size and stuff so uh, based on my previous experience I usually choose this and this side is it shrinks the whole figure I think into something like this so if you want to get only nine, maybe a little bit more, if you want to get only nine uh, uh, clusters in your figure, I think this is just good enough. You can just go ahead and save it. Um, I'm going to save this as hyphen two and wait for a while till it's saved, till we get that message. Yes. Okay. So that means it's saved. I'm going back to the saved figure and see if I have gotten a good one or is it different yeah it's actually this part is not captured well the other thing you could do is really to get a, a screen capture uh, by FN print screen and well just paste it in your paint um, if you're using Windows and then you can just copy and paste it into a separate file uh, you can crop it and yeah so I just go to home crop um, just like this and just you know, basically cut it and paste it into a separate for example word Microsoft Word uh, document I'm not gonna do this for this uh, now I can change the span between these uh, clusters but a few other things will at the same time will change like the color of these so I go to views this is the control panel I go to views as you see the uh, where is the span uh, row span is 60 I can I can change the row span as you see the color also changed uh, every time you choose that actually uh, site space changes the color well that's fine I think that's this is pretty good enough for me because now all of the clusters that are uh, important appear almost important because it's the first three are the most conspicuous and the largest clusters that we need so uh, I think I can stick with these three and the, the color code here basically indicates that these three are more recent clusters relative to the rest and they're more active and recent clusters and they have a lot more uh, connections as you see from these links um, so you can save this the other thing you could do is to go to uh, let me see is that uh, to I think it's, is it display or links uh, yeah it links so you can go to links uh, to link transparency because the links are are not very clear as you see so you can change the uh, transparency of the links further the current one that's the uh, default one is 0 0.2 you can change it to for example 0 0.4 so the links become brighter after clicking OK and that's what I mean or you could just uh, go back to links uh, the current one is 0 0.4 I think you can change it back to 0 0.3 uh, the default was 0 0.2 so I'm, I'm changing it to 0 0.3 to see this is probably better I mean depending on what what you would like to get 
and then again uh, you can toggle the line shape and change it to yes kind of straight lines uh, and back yeah and you have a spotlight here uh, you can actually change the spotlight actually it looks like this if you if you uh, click on spotlight and then click back so I, I usually keep the spotlight on so that that beauty of uh, colorfulness also comes across in the visualized network I think that's uh, more or less all about uh, site space actually that's uh, a very basic introduction to the site space um, in the future I will provide more information and perhaps I will uh, run an analysis on a separate network and will show you how different uh, permutations will change uh, the shape and also the modularity queue and the mean silhouette index of uh, your network. So this brings me to the end of this presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Have a good day.